Good morning, YouTube. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oops, that is the wrong Lone Star, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, okay. Yeah, all right. Good morning, YouTube. We are all loaded up, tarped down, strapped up. AJ and I added a ton of bungees on here earlier. We situated some straps and she's about ready to go. <sighs> so guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's have a little transparency moment real quick. So this is gonna be a hard one. So we're about to go to Salt Lake City. We're leaving Dallas, Fort Worth. About a 1200, 1300 mile trip. Um, little Emmanuel, y'all know our newborn who's two months old. Uh, Laura had to uh, take him to NICU this morning, which is the newborn intensive care unit and newborn ICU. Um, he's having some, uh, I guess, some breathing complications, but uh, he's not congested or anything. So they're trying to find out what is going on. And so I'm in a dilemma of taking this load out here, which this load, guys, will get us caught up financially. Not caught up, but it'll put us in a way better place financially to where we can actually get ahead and start paying stuff off. So um, so our living wise, you know, this load will get us where we need to go with our, with our goals. However, of course I wanna be at home, you know, at the hospital with her. And so uh, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I talked to her, she sounds okay. My mom is, and sisters are keeping the kids. And so it's one of those hard decisions you got to make as a man and as a husband, as a dad, you know. Um, so I don't know. They did put him on a little breathing tube to kind of help with his oxygen levels and everything. Uh, his heart rate is a little high because of how much energy he has to use to uh, to breathe. So y'all keep that little little dude in your prayers. Uh, this is definitely difficult, but it's it's one of those things where it's. Uh, it's a hard decision to make as a man, you know, because if I don't take this load because of how the pay schedule works and everything, I won't get a check next week. So we're already at the point to where it's, we're maintaining. So that would set us back. So not only would it set us back, but if I take the load, it will get us ahead, like way ahead. So it's one of those things. I just finished talking to the wife. So uh, I think I am going to go ahead and take the load but she's just gonna keep me constantly updated. I know some people are gonna say, no, you should have went home and took care of business and blah, 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 and been there, but uh, we're both in agreement that uh, I should go ahead and take the load. Um, they're not, it's not like the, the doctors are rushing into the room every two minutes to check on him. They are checking his vitals, making sure he's okay and everything. But um, it's gonna be a hard one, a hard decision to make, guys. So, uh, but I think we are gonna go ahead and take this load and just keep in communication. So like I said, y'all keep him in your prayers. Um, and uh, we are gonna go ahead and get prayed up and uh, jump on this interstate and uh, go get this dropped off in Salt Lake City, Utah. So guys, y'all go roll that intro and I'll catch you on the other side of it. All right, we're getting fuel, as y'all can see. I tried my best to clean off the windshield for you guys. Tried my best. We'll see, we'll see how long it lasts. 
I did have to add some more bungees to the uh, the tarp because it's windy out here. Y'all can probably tell. Here, but uh, yeah. Let's get on this road that flies out here. Let's get on this road, get some miles behind us, and I will catch up with you guys later. Let me call the wife, see how baby's doing, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that. And I will also, uh, uh, we're gonna talk to you guys a little bit later, but let's get on this road.
great, dude. Balling on the budget, guys. What Bam. we got? What we got? Oh, we got the Spam Singles Light. 50% nice. less fat, 25% less sodium, 33% fewer calories. Okay. So um, these are fun because I've got a George Foreman, or you can throw them in the microwave and you just throw them on a sandwich. And nice. Good. I mean, there's there's your three lunches right there. Got chips. Yeah. Some chips. I got some. You guys some do not judge. If you don't like them, you uh, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if they judge you for. Actually, hold on. Okay, my stuff is right here. That way they can see. Yeah. I don't want to get judged, so I'm gonna put hey. yours right here. Hey now. There we you go. Judge somebody okay. for eating spam. <laughs> not Let's get us some oatmeal, guys. Oatmeal. Oh, man, guys. I grew up on this as a kid. I remember these. Birthday cake oatmeal. I don't think I trust that too much. But I think I'll get the... Uh... I don't have that much space, so I think I'll get one of these and roll with it. on a budget guys because we're trying to pay off some debt so you gotta be careful what we spend and only getting the, the bare necessities so let's uh see what else we need bread i need to get some bread we'll get some bread and then we'll get on out of here and then guys this is what i get from my pb and j delicious get this spread some pb and j on it Call it a day. We got pumpkin, cinnamon. Yeah, so we're gonna get some of that for sure. Cinnamon, yeah, raisin cinnamon. What's the difference? 16 ounces. What is this one? A pound, same thing. Uh, what's the price difference? 343, 348. I guess one must taste different, but we're gonna go for the cheapest. So we're gonna grab this one and call it a day. What are these? What are these? What are these? What are these? Let's get all of them. A dollar on sale. I have no space in my freezer, but I will make space in my fridge. Oh, I'll eat these in two days. So I don't need to put them in the freezer. <laughs> Oh, was this in here? I guess I thought it was yours. Well, let's see. Whose grocery list is this? Much, much nicer handwriting. Cigarettes, one pack. Rum. Let's see. Let's see what kind of life decisions they're making. Shredded cheese, cigarettes, one pack. Rum. Doctor Thunder, three liters. Spanish rice, hamburger meat, one loaf of white bread. Red Power Ranger. Huh? Power Ranger. Power Ranger. <laughs> okay. And that's it. Power Ranger. Power Ranger. Power Ranger. Power Ranger. It's a Power Ranger. How you guys like one red Power Ranger? I know, not right? Two, not seven. One. <laughs> $25 worth of groceries, guys. Let's see how long this lasts. $31 worth of groceries. Hey, baby. Let's see how long this lasts. So, spent more than one bucks. We're right here off of 287 and uh, where are we at? I'll just show you everything I got. I cannot think of the name of the city, but uh, right here on 287 heading towards Amarillo, Texas. And so, uh, we still got a long way to go, in other words, probably only about 200 miles, 250 miles outside of Dallas, Fort Worth, where we started this morning. But we're taking our time. Uh, today's Saturday, we don't have until uh. Monday morning to get there. Let's get back on this road. Well, put the stuff away and I'll see you guys back on the road. Schau mal raus, es ist noch hell und du liegst 
nur herum. Hast keine Ahnung, was du willst. Deine Augen wollen mir glauben und sehen sich suchend um. Nach all dem, was du wirklich willst. Oh komm, ich zeig's dir. Lass alles liegen, lass alles stehen. Es wird Zeit, dass wir die Welt mal wieder sehen. Nimm deine Flügel, wir heben ab und leben einfach nur gemeinsam in den Tag. Ist echt mal schön. Hier rauszugehen, wir waren so lang nicht hier und niemand, der uns dabei stört. Der Duft von Freiheit in der Luft, wir atmen ihn tief ein und das Gefühl ist so viel wert. All right, so guys, let's chit chat a little bit. So. We are going to be doing new things with the channel. So what we're going to be doing is incorporating a little bit more of a lifestyle in the videos with the trucking and everything. Um, I am going to start, I'm going to attempt, I'm going to try to incorporate, um, I do want to be a lot more healthier on the road. And so I'm going to try to incorporate those things in my day-to-day, -day, you know, life. So I'm going to try walking more. I'm going to try working out a little bit at the truck stops or wherever I'm at. Uh, what else? Um, eating better, meal prepping, stuff like that on the truck. And then um, also on the financial side of things, as y'all saw at the grocery store, you know, balling on the budget. Because one thing I have learned, you know, is if you're not able to make more money, you know, spend less money. And so that is one thing that, uh, you know, we're working on as far as, you know, reducing expenses. Of course, we can't reduce our mortgage. We can't reduce our car note and stuff like that. But we can reduce extracurricular activities. I can reduce you know, what I'm eating at at these restaurants and stuff like that. And then just like little hacks in there, hacks here and there, like for instance, usually if I buy, uh, I try to buy as many things as I can for the truck at the truck stop. So those things that we bought from the grocery store, a lot of it you can pretty much only buy from Walmart. But things like a bag of chips, you know, or drinks or whatever, I can use my truck stop points to buy those things. And so I use whatever cash or whatever money I have at the grocery store to buy groceries for the truck. And then for the uh, anything extra like chips, drinks, candy, anything like that, I'll use my points at the truck stop. And that's why I like to use Pilot Flying J, because I'm able to, you know, get a lot of points from them with all the fueling up that I do. Like I probably have about $50 in points at the, uh, pilot flying jays not so many at the ta petros which guys at the ta petro you can use your points for a uh, black bear diner uh, iron skillet and for a uh, country pride because that's pretty cool for like your dine-in uh, restaurants mm. but we want to start incorporating more things to the channel whether it's health related exercise being fit related and then also especially with flatbed step deck open deck like I've been doing you got to stay fit you got to stay on top of it so I'm going to work on that and I'm going to incorporate you guys along with me and then um, you know on the uh, the budgeting side of things too because uh, one reason I need to take this run is we're about to pay off a credit card this cash here y'all go pay it off and so uh, that's one of the reasons I'm taking this run out here. 
Uh, we're hoping that Emmanuel comes out okay. Uh, they have confirmed that it is a type of virus, so they want to keep him there at the hospital for a good three to five days because they said it's probably going to get worse with him trying to fight the virus. And so they want to keep a close eye on him. And so 90% of me wants to be at home and, you know, and go through this, you know, at home, but, you know, I gotta make the finances too. You know, we got bills to pay. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this, but I'm just gonna stay in close communication with uh, any kind of updates of what's going on at home. So it sucks, definitely sucks. You know, I really do wish I could be there, but I also didn't want to uh, let the agent down on this load because they preloaded this load. I had somebody go pick it up for me. It's preloaded and everything. And uh, I got a lot of people on the work side, you know, um, that want me to complete this load as well. And so I have two commitments that I'm trying to fulfill. And it's, it's, it's definitely a hard decision. Definitely not, not the decision I wanted to make coming out here, but, you know, it's the one I made. It's the one we're gonna stick with. Just gonna stay in prayer from a distance. And uh, just stay in close contact with uh, the wife and, you know, pray that he pulls pulls through. So that's where we're at right now. So, but yeah, so we want to incorporate more things in the channel. If y'all can think of anything else, let me know that I should incorporate in the channel on my day-to-day -day lifestyle. Let me know down there in the comments. If y'all have any topics or any questions y'all need me to bring up in the, in the uh, videos in the future, let me know down there in the comments. We are stuck behind a slow truck in front of us. We'll have to work our way around him shortly. We had a lot of y'all are getting your CDL. Congratulations. Stick with it. Do what you got to do because it's definitely a good way to provide for your family. For sure. But guys, let's get back on this interstate. We still got a good almost a thousand miles to go, a little more than a thousand miles. We're going to try to knock out a good 300 or so today and uh, another good 700 tomorrow. So I will catch you guys shortly. It is getting late. It is getting dark as y'all can see. But uh, I will catch you guys on the other side to wrap this video up. Not a long video today, just a lot of driving. Not really much scenery out here in West Texas going up 287. But I did not want to leave you guys hanging at the same time. So comment down below any ideas y'all may have. And I will catch you here shortly. Let's uh, get a good look at the sunset up here. Today, I have to use these bad boys to keep me awake. 
Candy corns. Love them. Probably gonna kiss, catch some slack for that in the comment section. But guys, we are about an hour and a half south of, um, right here on I-25, just south of Colorado Springs. The time lapse ended in Amarillo, and I was gonna do an end of the day video there. Um, but uh, actually, uh, Hustle TX, it was good, to see, good seeing you today, dude. Out there in Amarillo, we were in a hurry to get out of there, and I just honestly, uh, I was, I was just not in the headspace with everything going on. So, um, so but I meant to uh, do an end of the day while we were out there in Amarillo at the pilot, and uh, I just completely forgot. And then I was going to do some more time lapse to get us here, but it's dark and it's hard to see in those dark time lapses. I know we did do some pretty steep mountain driving. But uh, we're just south of Colorado Springs, which that is just south of Denver. So we are in Colorado. Uh, we have about 700, well, 672 miles to pool tomorrow to get the rest of the way there. Salt Lake City, Utah, the same place we went to last week in that, um, that warehouse under construction. We're going back to that same spot because uh, it's a a decent little run we just got to find something coming out because my usual not my usual but a connect that i know of out there won't have anything until november so tomorrow's sunday so i do have some time to try to find something coming out but it most likely won't be till monday but uh, my load was pushed back to deliver on tuesday but we don't play that over here i'm gonna show up monday act stupid say hey i'm here to deliver and Probably give me a doc and we'll go from there. Not a doc, but see you guys. My head's up. My head's anyway. But yeah, guys, sorry for the short video today, but I did want to put something out just so y'all, uh, just to give y'all some kind of content to work with. But um, yeah, it's a lot going on at home right now, and I, and I just was not, not completely there. You know, we are here on the road and things are going on at home. You know, it's hard to put 110 percent you know into this and then while you're driving you're thinking about that and it's it's a lot y'all truckers know you guys truck y'all know so but yeah guys i didn't i didn't even put the uh, the bags away from the store i just kind of put them in here so i need to put this stuff away get my bed ready and try to get some kind of sleep uh, and try to peacefully get some peaceful sleep but I'm gonna call the wife one more time just to kind of get a, a end of the day synopsis on uh, Emmanuel. And um, yeah, y'all keep, keep them in your prayers, please. And um, like I said earlier, let me know if y'all have any content ideas or conversations that we could have. Uh, leave those down there in the comments. But uh, Hustle, TX, like I said, Nice seeing you today, dude. Uh, except I just, I apologize. I was just all over the place today. So guys, this is Lone Star Texas Ranger signing off. I will catch you guys at noon Central Standard Time tomorrow.